and then another kind of you know um, hot topic, I'd say, is, uh, is is the I think you mentioned or we'll touched on it, is things like the custom knees and the bespoke knees. So things you know you may have heard in the press and things like conformist knee, where it's uh, uh, the idea is that they're trying to do a you know they're doing a three T mapping of your own knee to try and give you uh, a prosthetic knee that is literally contours and shapes to the to the size and contours of your original knee. So it's, the idea is trying to feel as natural to the face to the patient as possible. And and uh, you know the, the the debates go between things like with you know the patient you know, patient satisfaction number one, but then also where you know, how can you rely on it because if they if they've got a a, a faulty biomechanical knee and you're replacing it with a faulty mechanical biomechanical, it might feel great, but is it then going to wear out quicker? Where what, what's your take on that whole kind of debate? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? What's what's uh... I, I'm I'm a fan, and the reason why I'm a fan is it it doesn't apply to all patients. I often have patients with malunited fractures of the femur, and what we do for a, a knee replacement, we use an intramedullary guide. And so we put a metal rod through the um, uh, femoral canal to give us an idea of uh, the, 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 the procedure for the cuts and for uh, implanting the knee in a satisfactory uh, or perfect position. I've used conformists, I do like conformists. Um, the conformists, uh, there are other companies, Zimmer does them, uh, Symbios, um, uh, Depuy, to name a few. What I like about Symbios is that it, it looks at the, the medial and the lateral compartments. So the polyethylene is separate. You've got polyethylene for the medial side, polyethylene for the uh, uh, lateral side, whereas in, in a, a lot of the other knee replacements, the single polyethylene. Right. So it takes account the thickness of the polythene on each, each compartment. Wow. And my experience has been quite positive. Uh, it's something that I've used in, uh, uh, I think I use in a 41 year old, only because I was anxious to make sure that we got the balance right. And a conventional knee might have been okay, but I was quite pleased using conformist. My, my personal opinion is that a lot of the implants that I use can be off the shelf. There are instances where I will use uh, conformis in the young patient, in the patient with the telephermal malalignment, in the patient with a united fracture of the femur. The, 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 I think what the theatre staff like most about it, from what I've been told, is that the, it, it's ergonomic. Mm. You can use two trays for your operation, whereas a standard uh, knee replacement might need four or five trays. So, so by trays, really you think about, about the plastic or polyethylene? Oh, I beg your pardon. The 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 instruments that we use oh, for the knee procedure. Actual trays. You mean. Yeah, the actual trays. Yeah. The actual trays for the knee knee procedure in theatre yeah. is confined to about two two uh, two two trays, yeah. whereas in the standard knee, it's it's four or five trays. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. right, right, excellent. So, um, am I right in hearing then you're, you're saying then in in let's say the 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 you know the younger age groups, the you know the forties, the fifties, you know, and and the more active then. You're, you're you're tending to go more in favour of of those bespoke knees. Is that is that right? Because because of various reasons, it's going to feel better. It's going to, they, they're going to feel happy when they're active, and 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 what about things like cruciate sparing? Is that is that a factor as well? The, 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 well, the conformance uh, that I use is is cruciate sparing, the PCL uh, sparing, or what we describe as um, uh, CR, cruciate retaining. I've used conformance in the younger patients, but really the, it's, it's often down to the individual. I mean, you'll have a patient who presents, who's read everything about conformance, knows somebody's had a conformist, and would like to have a conformist knee replacement. Mm -hmm. And there are those who I will give the information regarding conformance and the information about the implant that I particularly uh, like to use, mm -hmm. and they have that decision. Sometimes they will ask me, what do I, what would I recommend? Mm. And uh, I will recommend this standard off the shelf, depending mm. on the patient. But the very active individuals, I, and young individuals, I start to think about bone um, conservation. But one of the advantages of the conformist is that you you cut less bone. Right. So, so should they need a revision? Yeah, thing to revise later on. Is that is that what you mean? Yes, that's that's that. that, that I think that's the idea, really, to try and save as much bone as possible, mm. so that when you do have to revise, there's less. Um, there's enough bone, so to speak, compared with a standard uh, knee replacement. Yeah. 